Hi, I'm Kelly Stanley. I work for Port Blakely, and today we're going to learn how to identify different trees in the forest. Oh, our first one is right here. It is actually Washington State Tree. And our state tree is called the Western Hemlock. So look at the needles. They're real short and they're flat looking, blunt ends. The bright green is just the new growth right here. One thing that's really uh, neat about the Western Hemlock, when you flip it over, it looks more white on the bottom. But the best way to identify a Western Hemlock, if you look at the top of the tree, the top of the tree is called the leader, Western Hemlock's leader always droops over, so it's easy to identify them in the forest. And they get big too. This is just a small one, and there's the Western Hemlock over there as well. The next tree we're going to learn is the big leaf maple. So here is an amazing big leaf maple. So this is diameter wise one of the biggest in the forest. Here, look at the bark of it. It's real rough like that. It goes in grooves. Once I had a student say it looked like elephant skin and I think that's a great way to identify the bark. And then the leaves. The leaves have five lobes. It's a deciduous tree and they have pointed edges like that. It grows really, really wide. Like Douglas fir goes straight up tall, but this one goes really, really wide. And we call that the crown of the tree. So this tree has a very big crown. We just learned to identify the big leaf maple, which is an amazing tree, but there are other um, wonderful trees in the forest that we are going to learn to identify. So follow me and let's go have some fun. So the next tree we're gonna learn about is this tree right here. This is a red alder tree. This is a deciduous tree. It has leaves and not the needles that we think about. Red alder is probably one of the most common deciduous trees in Western Washington. The other trees we've learned, they've had rough bark, but look at this, this is real smooth. And this tree has a lot of moss on it, but it's more white or gray in color. And then look at these leaves. They are oval in shape like this. And then look at on the edge of it, it has serrated edges where you can think of it sort of looking like a mountain range to it. So it's a very common tree in the Pacific Northwest. And here we have a Douglas fir tree. So Douglas fir, this is Oregon State tree. Look at the bark. There's grooves in the bark and they go down the tree like this. It has really, really thick bark like this. It protects it from forest fires that we have sometimes in the summertime. And I'm lucky to have found a branch right here. And look at the needles. They sort of go all the way around the branch. And here's the little buds at the end. They're starting to break open. And there's actually a Douglas fir cone growing on this branch right here. And that's how you identify the Douglas fir tree, the most common tree in the Pacific Northwest. Now I'm so excited to teach you about my favorite tree in the forest, the Western Red Cedar tree. So let's go learn about that. So here it is, the Western Red Cedar tree. And can you look at the color of the bark? One of the reasons they're called Western Red Cedar Tree is because it has that red looking bark. And let's see if I can find a branch of this tree. Over the years, I've had people say it looks like a fern or feather tree. And if you get really, really close, it looks like a flattened braid right there. So now we learn to identify five native trees of Washington and Oregon. When you're out this summer, see how many trees that you can identify when you're hiking or in a local park. They're all around us.